वेलकम टू ट्रैप टॉक टीवी Visa on arrival up by 99% in June this year. During the month of June this year, a total of 2112 visas on arrival were issued under this scheme as compared to 1062 visas on arrival during the month of June last year, registering a growth of 98.9%. Kerala Tourism to launch two new projects this year. This year we are totally opening up. One is Musri Heritage Project, and uh, the UNESCO has agreed to, I mean, uh, tie up uh, with us. And uh, one is uh, that one, and the second one is the Sea Plane Project. Uh, you know, the Sea Plane has already started, but uh, now uh, our plan is to connect all the three aerodromes in the in the state with all the major uh, tourist uh, destinations, especially the backwaters. So uh, this year is uh, that way. It's very crucial for us. 1.5 crore Indian passports were issued between May 2010. and June 2014 since the launch of pilot passport seva kendras in May 2010 a total of 15 million passports have been issued in the new system till June 30th this year ITDC released a coffee table book on the Ashok India Tourism Development Corporation took another step to celebrate its glorious past by unveiling the Ashok Capital Icon, a coffee table book at the Ashok in New Delhi on July 17. The coffee table book takes one along a fabulous journey right from the construction stage to the playing host to many heads of steps, states, emperors, presidents and celebrities. I'm sure This coffee table book will be an inspiration for the officers and staff of the hotel to further excel in every department and to keep the nostalgia alive. It's a great iconic institution, and we are two of the best travel writers in India. So between the two of them, I'm sure it's a great book. The Ministry of Tourism discusses strategies to promote Buddhist circuits in Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. Aryan, we are flying to New York. To visit your father? With a German airline. You know Germans? No. Just bit different. Always serious. And their food. <laughs> Namaste. Grandpa, we are in the wrong plane. Huh? No, no. Everything is fine. Non-stop you. Lufthansa. Industry experts discuss how travel and tourism institutes can be brought at par with their IT counterparts. What do we need to do to make the travel institutes in line with the IT institutes to become a phenomena like the IT industry has become? I think first, I think institutes have to help and understand technology, so they have to be tech tech savvy themselves. These institutes obviously have to take the focus away just from the geographical and technical knowledge. They have to focus a lot more on. Our ability to be consultative to our travelers. I think we need to invest within our profession some kind of monies in terms of identifying and doing some kind of a research as to what we can build. Travel schools now to need to expand their curriculum. They need to get more niche. Karnataka International Travel Expo to be held in Bangalore in June next year. Karnataka Tourism Forum has announced its first international expo to be held in Bangalore in June next year called Karnataka International Travel Expo. Punjab Tourism to get funding from the World Bank. To promote Punjab as a global tourist destination, the World Bank has offered to fund projects for the promotion of religious heritage, health and ethnic tourism in the state. Bhopal, Indore and Raipur to get international airports. With that it's a wrap on this edition of Trap Talk TV but do stay connected for more.